Hello everyone and welcome to my reactions video for WWE NXT TakeOver Chicago 2 during the year of 2018. Just gotta keep adding to that title to make it longer and make it more epic even though it really doesn't. But regardless, um, I figured out some internet issues here and I was able to post the uh, two predictions videos. Um, Chicago was technically late but I still posted it for the record and the predictions for Money in the Bank should have gotten on there before the actual pay-per-view the night before it I believe during Chicago even or after it I can't remember um, I was working so I really couldn't uh, know for certain uh, I couldn't upload it before it so I mean you win some you lose some but regardless we're gonna go ahead and make give some reactions now to WWE NXT TakeOver Chicago uh, great pay-per-view fantastic um, and guess what there's nobody working any more outside, so no more noise. Yay! Uh, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, first up, we had the NXT Tag Team Title match with uh, Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan versus the Undisputed Era. Fantastic match to start with. I freaking loved it. Could not get my eyes off it for a second. Um, really fantastic close calls. Amazing, just fantastic. I love it, and I'm so glad the Undisputed Era won. Uh, I think I saw them winning anyway, and I think it was a fantastic choice, but they put on a spectacular match, and I'm very happy with this result and a great way to open the pay-per-view. Uh, next up we have, uh, sorry here, uh, Ricochet versus the Velveteen Dream, um, with Ricochet taking the win here. Uh, I kind of saw this coming, and they put off a pretty entertaining match, too. Great, uh, Velveteen Dream just knows how to tell a story during his matches. I, I love him for it, and they had a great match regardless of that, with Ricochet winning uh, his first singles debut. Um, in a pay-per-view, fantastic, and I'm glad that he won. This will do well for him, and it's just pushing Velveteen Dream even more in the sense that he can tell a great story within every match that he has, and I love it for it. I love it. Uh, next up, we have NXT Women's Championship match with Nikki Cross with Shayna Baszler, with Shayna Baszler taking the win. Um, I'm glad Shayna Baszler won here. Um, I want her to keep on with her um, dominating um, persona. I think it works fantastic for her. I don't want to really see her do anything else. Um, I think it, uh, well, that's not what I mean by that, but, uh, I think it's good that she's continuing to dominate as NXT Women's Champion. I don't think losing the Nikki Cross would have done well. She needs to lose to someone more of a baby face than Nikki Cross, even though after looking back, they did try to push her as one. But, you know, she's I, she's not the baby face I want to see Shayna lose to. And I think they really need to keep pushing her uh, um, domination, especially this, since this is the first pay-per-view, I think, that she's put her uh, championship up uh, in a match. But regardless, um, I think this was a good choice, but probably not the best match of the night, but still pretty good. Still pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, next up, we have the NXT Championship match with Aleister Black versus Lars Sullivan. Um, with, uh, Aleister Black taking the win here. Uh, very good match, um, good for, you know, Lars Sullivan being the mix. I wasn't, I was thinking this one wasn't going to be that great, personally. I, I, I didn't really care that much about it, but, you know, it was pretty good, it was pretty good. Um, they told a good story with the fact that Lars Sullivan was probably the, the, um, the greatest challenge that, uh, Aleister Black has had. And they definitely told that with when he did Black Mass on him, and he still like stood up and did another one. That was great. I could definitely see Lars Sullivan coming back in the future. I'm almost willing to think that they'll have another match. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking here, base reaction. Um, generally, I'm not that surprised that Alistair won, but but I did see a chance. I think of Lars Sullivan winning. But now thinking it makes more sense for him to have more than one pay-per-view championship match. Because I think this is his... Yeah, this was his first championship uh, match on a pay-per-view. So it would make sense to have him come back, right? So um, I'm willing to say that I don't think this is the last we've seen of Lars Sullivan. He's either going to get another shot at a different championship. Or, or he's going to move up to the main roster eventually, maybe around after SummerSlam. Maybe Aleister Black will. I don't know. There's many things that we could do here, but I think NXT's running out of people to face for Aleister other than, you know, Adam Cole, but he has the NXT North American Championship. 
So I really don't know who, who else you'd really have faced. Maybe uh, Roderick Strong again, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa maybe. Ooh, Tommaso Ciampa, that's not a bad idea. See, there's a there's many different options, but I think they're slowly running out of people for Aleister Black to face. So it's going to come to that point to who is eventually going to defeat him if they defeat him at all. Maybe he'll relinquish the title. I don't know, but you know this makes me think of many more possibilities uh, who to face Aleister Black, but this is a pretty good... Uh, a match for uh, Lars Sullivan to be in. And then finally we have, I think, uh, Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa. Um, I believe I said I see Johnny Gargano winning, but there's a strong chance that Tommaso would win. And I think I was pretty much right on the sense that Tommaso had a huge chance of winning just because, you know, it's a story coming full circle, and I do not think this is the last we'll see this feud. I think this is going to push into one more match at um, the pay-per-view they have wherever SummerSlam time is coming around, and I think that's what they should do and end it all there even, or maybe even make this excuse, like, say their feud is getting out of way too hands to the point to where they literally have to be put on different shows, and then one of them gets pushed to a different roster, and maybe, just maybe, Tommaso Ciampa might go on to have success without Johnny there, and Johnny goes to have success when he's when Tommaso's not there, and then they come back in the future maybe later. Either way, I could see them going these two different paths. Either they have one giant match at the end, uh, the next pay-per-view, and then maybe do that second part of the story, maybe, or they go ahead and just start on track with that second part. Either way, I'm have like I could see this feud is probably just the best that we've seen in a long time. In a long time, and I'm loving every second of it. Uh, Tommaso is probably one of the greatest heels we've seen in forever, even. And we've had a lot of great heels lately. But regardless, I'm kind of happy with this result. Because this, this feud is just so strong and fantastic. It's, I almost don't want to see the end of it. But it has to come to end at some point. So I'm wondering how they're going to end this feud. It's going to... It's going to be blown out of proportion, I think. Um, I'm not saying I have high standards, but I'm kind of expecting to be wowed, if anything. I'm expecting to be wowed because I don't want to have my standards too high, if that makes sense. Regardless, I'm very happy with this result, even though I did choose Johnny to win. But I think that calls it for NXT TakeOver Chicago. I know this uh, reactions video was a bit shorter than most. I know these uh, takeover ones are a lot shorter just because the matches, the the match cards cards are usually smaller. But I'm actually kind of dying in heat in here a little bit. Uh, I have to turn off the fan so you guys won't hear that blowing into the camera all the time. Unfortunately, I'm doing that for you guys. So sorry if I'm sweating a bit, but it is like in the 90s around here currently. So I guess I'm just trying to go through these without sweating and dying. But uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna die. But uh, regardless, if you agree with thing I. I feel like I say regardless a lot. Yeah, keep a counter for how many times I say regardless. But anyway, so yes, I said something different. But anyway, if you agree, agreed with anything I said, disagree with anything I said, be sure to let me know down below in the comments, like and dislike buttons, uh, and be sure to subscribe in the future for some more videos and some more predictions and reactions and maybe even more different types of videos other than these kinds since now I have kind of more time to make them. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing, but uh, I would love to see you guys comment and react below on my videos. So thank you guys, thank you for watching, and be sure to come back in the future.